Welcome to Joe at the Movies. Animation, more than any other filming form, is in a constant battle to prove its artistic merit. There's a lot of people that worked on migration that care about this battle, but sadly, there were even more that just cared about money. What's annoying about migration is that it excels in a lot of the below the line categories. The soundtrack is great, and the most powerful moments in the movie is when it rests on the music. The fact that not even Illumination dared to plaster over it with pop songs tells you everything you need to know. Also, the direction was snappy and satisfying. The screenplay simply does not live up to these strong suits though. Major character development is performed in a couple of sentences, and the environments are simply mishandled. The movie doesn't spend enough time in a given location to properly chew on the scenery, but it isn't quick enough for the movie to be a travelogue anthology. Some interesting ideas are brought up, but that's all that happens, it's brought up. The movie doesn't stay with anything for long enough to develop it, so there's nothing to latch onto. For much of the movie, I didn't really feel anything. I wasn't entertained, but I also wasn't bored either. I was just watching the colorful, pretty shapes move across the screen, occasionally finding something to appreciate, like a song or a joke, but then slipping back into the fugue. It's something that kids will probably enjoy and parents will probably forget, which is probably what the people throwing money at the movie were going for, but animation can be so much more than that. You just gotta have a story. Migration gets a thumbs down.